Alright, welcome back to the dungeon. The dungeon. The dungeon. Where you live? In the dungeon? Was that at? In Glendale? <laughs> Sorry, I'm on one. We've been filming all day, and today is part dose. Well, actually, it's not part two. It's just another story time with Hank and Henry. And today's story time is my gummy bear story. Oh, this story is an epic story of why I do not mess around with edibles anymore. <laughs> so I decided to start doing these story time segments on YouTube because I would tell all these kind of different random stories on my Facebook and on Instagram um, live and everybody always asked me about them. So I was like, okay, um, my wedding story, which we just did, and this gummy bear story are my two most requested stories. So let's get into it. This story is about me doing edibles for the first time and having the most horrible experience. Actually, it was kind of funny. So I don't smoke weed on a regular. Sometimes I do. I will smoke weed to help me go to bed. I do ha suffer from insomnia, kind of, because sometimes when I'm in, I'm a night owl. So when I'm in bed, I just start thinking about work, about um, you know, uh, development for new products we're creating. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know. Some motherfucker who can't return my calls and shit. I'm like, you know what? I don't even like them that much, anyways. <laughs> So I'm I have a low tolerance for weed. I'm like a one hitter quitter. I'm like I I went mid I when I was young. <laughs> so I am not like really um I don't really smoke a lot of weed. So edibles, you can only imagine, are seventy five million that that's even more intense on me. So my roommates both they they the funny thing is one of the roommates doesn't live with us anymore and the other one just stopped smoking weed completely. But at that time, they were both, when we were when we all were living with each other, which was last year, they were all, they were smoking weed all the time. All the time. Like, yeah, you know, I got my medical card. So I never thought anything about it. But one day I got home and it had been a long day. I was, it, it was actually still in the afternoon, but I had got up early. I went run errands. I was doing all this stuff. Had some, had some lunch, uh, some early, early, early lunch, more like a early brunch. And I run getting home and I look and I go sit down in my living room. I'm watching some movies on Netflix and I look and I'm all, ooh, one of my roommates left a bag of gummy bears on the table, you know, and me and my roommates are very much, if if I use some of your food, I'm, I'm gonna replace it. If you use my food, you can replace it. So we we share, we, there's, we, we always, we don't even think twice about it. So I'm sitting down, I'm about to watch me some Moana, you know, you know, some Hey Hey, some Disney, some, you know, some, some, you know, some go make me feel all kind of great. So I sit down and I'm like, well, shit, there's gummy bears here. So I take them and I start eating them. And I'm like, they taste a little different. Maybe it's because the bag was open. They're just a little stale or something. But, you know, they tasted bomb. If you guys don't know, there is about, I think, one serving of like, like it's like three pieces of gummy bear is like one serving. And which one serving is like, oh, you know, that's enough. Okay, I had like at least 12 pieces. I had a lot. I had, a, they're gummy bears. Who, who you know just gonna eat three gummy bears? Are you kidding me? That's just rude. So I had, I, I had, I was just eating them. I was like, ooh, these don't taste that great. But you know what? It's free. It, <laughs> Cause I'm just gonna eat them. So next thing I know, I'm feeling real comfortable. And I literally did not know what was going on. Because I slowly was just like, this movie is boring. Because it was just so slow. And I was just like, what's going on with me? And I felt numb. 
I thought I was about to have a stroke, y'all. Because, you know, like they always tell you, like, oh, if you feel a pain in your right arm or something, you about to have a stroke or have a heart attack or something. Well, I was just like, Some, I'm about to die. I'm dying. Because I didn't feel, no I literally, I just didn't. And remember, I've never had an edible before. So I didn't know what was going on. And my body was all numb. And I was just looking around. And I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And I could not figure out what was going wrong. And so my roommate gets home and he walks in and he's all, Henry, what's wrong with you? I was literally just sitting in the corner of my house, just looking outside, fucking drooling and shit. Like, look at, I'm, oh, it was horrible. And I'm all, and I turn around and I looked at him, I was all, dude, something's wrong with me. And he's all, why? And I was all, I could feel my eyeballs. And he's all, what? And I was all, I could feel my eyeballs inside my head. And he's all, what? And I said, I think I'm dying. And he's all, Henry. And I was all, if I close my eyes, I could see my eye skin. He's all, what? I said, I could see the skin of my eyes when I close my eyes. I could see my skin, my eye skin. I said, that's not normal. I could see, I could see like it's playing a movie right now. No movie, movie. I was so gone. And he was just like, are you joking? And I'm all, dude, I don't, I don't know what's going on, but I could feel my eyeballs. <laughs> he literally looked down, he was all, Henry, did you eat those gummy bears? And I'm all, yeah, that was nasty. It tastes weird. And he's all, Henry, those are edibles. They're weed. You're high. And it all clicked at that moment. And I was like, <sighs> but because I was so stoned, I thought I did <gasps> for like 20 minutes. That it was it was ridiculous. And he was and I, I told him, I was like, you need to help me. You set me up. And he's like, Henry, I didn't think you were gonna eat those. There's a big old marijuana on that. And there was, there was a big old weed leaf, but you, when you're fucking sitting down, you don't really look. And it was in the back. And he had to help me because I couldn't move from that little spot that I perched myself in the corner of the house. And he was just like, come on, you need to drink some. And I was all, oh, I can't even feel my legs. I could feel my eyeballs. And that's literally, I literally was blinking and I could see the skin and I told him, I was all, I was like, have you ever felt your own eyeball skin? And he was all, what? And I said, when I blink, I could feel the skin of my eyes touching the skin of my eyelids. And he's all, dude, you fucked up. They literally had to get me, throw me, and, and lift me up, put me on the couch, make me drink water. I got super super uh like gray and i died i literally like passed out and they couldn't even move me they couldn't wake me up that was the worst so you think i would have learned my lesson right no fast forward three months which is three months ago because this only happened like six months ago this is pretty new so three months okay so there was that story so three months I'm doing a Facebook live and we were getting in. The look was awesome. Boom, boom, boom. And I, I always make me a little drink, you know, cause it's called the drink and drank with Henry and Hank. Next thing you know, I'm like, okay, Facebook live is done. All right, y'all let's hop over to Instagram live. We're about to be like, brr, brr. we're about to break it down. But I had no chaser and I only had alcohol. So I was like, fuck. So I opened up my refrigerator. Boom, my roommate had left a drink in there. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna drink his drink and then I'll buy him a new one in the morning. So poured the drink, made it, started my Instagram live. We was getting it in, boom. I was like, man, this, this Instagram live feels boring. And I was like, man, I feel weird. And then it hit me. I got that same feeling again. And I was all, oh. and I told everybody on my Instagram live, I said, I think I'm high. And everyone's like, what? And I was all, no, not again. 
I got my phone from the Instagram live, ran to the kitchen, and I had put the 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 container in in the trash can in the recycle, and it was glass. So I thought it was a kombucha, you know, something something like that. And I took it out. Some of a bitch. That shit was a weed drink. It was a weed drink. And I don't know how much is a lot, but it had a hundred milligrams or some that that per serving. And I did half. So I drank that whole thing. And you know, I oh my god. So I little I and, and when I got real drunk, I mean real high, I get a lazy eye and then I be blinking. So I'm like blinking like this right here, and this other eye's just on its own, just looking everywhere. So I look crazy as hell. And and my eyelids got so low. <laughs> Everybody was just because I had I had my um, mink lashes on too, and those things are heavy when you're high. So I was literally just on Instagram Live, I couldn't even open my eyes, just like. <laughs> so this story time, in conclusion, brings many 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 lessons. One, if it ain't yours, don't touch it. <laughs> Two, read the labels. And three, edibles are the devil. <laughs> That shit fucked me up. I was like, hell no, I'm. So now when I was like, oh my god, I made some brownies. I said, nope, nope, uh, uh, I can't do none of that. Nope, I'm not fucking with the de the devil's lettuce no more. Uh, uh. Jesus said no, <laughs> no, get it away. So <laughs> I might smoke weed to go to bed, cause you know it helps me sleep. Um, but let me tell you right now, edibles. I don't want your number. I don't want to give you mine and no. I don't want to eat you nowhere. <laughs> but yeah, so that was that story. And just like all my other stories, don't judge me. I'm human. <laughs> but until next story time, thank you guys for hanging out with me, listening to my crazy ass life. And until next time, bye-bye.